Thank you, President Obama, for that inspiring speech. Ladies and gentlemen, we still have a couple more polls that we would like you to participate in. So if I may request that you stay seated and not leave the room at this moment. We promise it won't be very much longer. I know it's almost lunchtime. Let's take a look at this poll and some of the ones that you're going to see actually directly address some of the issues that President Obama has just raised. So if I may draw your attention, please, even if you're standing and you have your voting device, it would still be great if you participated. Of the positive outcomes that may result from increased internet penetration, what will be the most positive? More entrepreneurs, more e-commerce activity, more global interconnectedness, or greater political engagement? Please make your choice now. You have 15 seconds, A, B, C, or D. What will be the most positive outcome from increased internet penetration? More entrepreneurs, e-commerce, global interconnectedness, or greater political engagement? Please vote. Let's take a look at what you selected. The majority of people in this room went with A and C, actually. We have a tie, more entrepreneurs, and more global interconnectedness. That was both 32%, uh, 21% selected B, more e-commerce activity, and greater political engagement, interestingly, uh, came in last at 14%. Okay, one more poll to go. Let's take a look at this next question. All of the following are important for bringing internet access to more Africans. Which one do you consider the most important? Policy changes? broadband cable infrastructure, or C, alternative delivery methods, satellites, balloons, drones, that sort of thing. So please vote now. Thank you so much for uh, going along with this. All right, you have a few more seconds left. Which one do you consider the most important to bring internet access to more Africans? A, B, or C, policy changes, broadband cable infrastructure, alternative delivery methods. And you selected Wow, B, there's very, very clear winner there, broadband cable infrastructure, makes sense, 50% of the room, 29% went with policy changes and 21% with alternative delivery methods. Excellencies, distinguished guests, I'm joined now by Tony Elumelu, the chairman of United Bank for Africa and Ayers Holdings. He joins me now, Tony, nice to see you. Good to see you, Zane. What's your reaction to this poll? Wow, I would have thought that uh, policy changes uh, the most significant because uh, first things first, if policies were not, the uh, right policies were not in place, the broadband cable infrastructure and alternative delivery method wouldn't be. But having said this, um, broadband is very critical for the development of the continent and broadband truly will help uh, to create more commerce and uh, more political awareness and also more entrepreneurship. So, President Obama talked uh, a lot about entrepreneurship and the importance of the, f the future workforce. You are doing a lot with entrepreneurship in Africa. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing and what you've learned. As President Obama said, and also as uh, President Buhari mentioned during this uh, remark, we have a demographic dividend in uh, expressed in terms of our youth. We have a lot of uh, young Africans who are under the age of 30. But the challenge for all of us is, uh, according to a report and statistics, in 2024, Africa will be, the people who enter the job market in Africa will be over 121 million Africans. But the capacity of the African economy to create jobs is just about 54 million people. Now, what are we going to do about this gap? You know, it will create a lot of political instability and uh, security challenges for all of us. And as they say, poverty anywhere because they threat to mankind everywhere. So we decided that the Tony Melu Foundation to endow the sum of 100 million US dollars to help empower the young Africans. Because what young Africans need is not necessarily a living, but opportunity to earn a living. And so that is what we're doing now, only two ways of contributing to job creation, poverty eradication, and inclusiveness in uh, Africa. One more question I can't resist, Tony. Uh, the Obama administration has had a lot of constructive dialogue with Africa. 
Do you envision the same were there to be a Trump administration? Oh, well, I don't know who it will be. <laughs> well, I know that uh, President Obama and his team, Prisca, great job, um, and supported by Michael Bloomberg. They've done a great job trying to put out on the, on the, on the global uh, uh, map further. They've tried with the Power Africa. He has tried with the Power Africa initiative. This forum is very good because you, as a businessman, I want to do business with my friends, the partners that I know. So this is a wonderful opportunity for us in Africa. Going forward, what we need in Africa is not necessarily a change of policies. What we need in Africa from U.S. government, whoever becomes the next president of America, is we want more, we want, we want, we want to do more, we want to see a scaling up of uh, the existing uh, partnership expressed in terms of trade and investment. We want to see an expansion of this. And whoever does this for Africa is the person who will support as president, or whoever will do this will support our president of America. Thank you. Thank you.